Hey guys, Mike here. So we're down here in the Virgin Islands, St. Thomas, and we got a concrete stamp, concrete job we got to do. So we're staying right here at Margaritaville, and the job is right next door in a place called Pineapple Village over here. And what these are, these are just a bunch of condos, and we're doing some stamp concrete out back of one of the condos. So let's go check it out. Hey everybody, Mike here. Yes, that's right. We were asked to come help pour some stamp concrete in the beautiful U.S. Virgin Islands, St. Thomas to be specific. And we got to stay right at Margaritaville. The views here were absolutely amazing. If you ever get a chance to go to the Virgin Islands, you know, Margaritaville would be a great place to stay. We were working for a, a contractor named Damien McAlevey. Now, Damien, Damien owns his own company. He's got his own crew. But he doesn't do a lot of stamp concrete. He does a lot of remodeling, uh, refinishing, stuff like that. So he asked us, we met through Facebook on my Facebook group, Concrete Ninjas, if we would come down and help him do some stamp concrete. So me and the crew, Luke and Darren, I even brought my family down, uh, went down for a week and, and helped him get this stamp concrete project done. It was a little challenging, you know, it was very hot down there. Uh, you had to fight the showers, the rain, but uh, it, it uh, came out really, really good. So just check this out. So getting ready to pour here, some stamp concrete, St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands. Just getting the finished prep work done now. We're laying down some poly, put some wire down. We're just about ready to pour. This is the area we got here. We're stamping an ashlar slate. So we got this this little room here. Then we got this bigger room here we're doing. Concrete's on the way. Pump truck's getting set up. Got about 10 yards of concrete. So we're just getting ready to go. So the challenging part of this, there was a few things that were kind of challenging. Number one, we, it was kind of like in an enclosed area in a backyard. What's going to end up being a backyard like patio setting. Uh, Damien's got a bunch more work to do. He does concrete countertops, uh, knee walls. He'll top off that knee wall and finish that all off. But anyway, so being enclosed like this was a little bit of a challenge. And also pumping the concrete, which pumping it's not that much of a challenge, but just not knowing the concrete. You know, this was where we live. We know how the concrete reacts. We know how it sets up using a different type of concrete in a different part of the world you know you never know how the concrete's going to react so that was a little bit challenging and then just just dealing with the heat you know we tried keeping as much sun off this as possible but there was a little there was a few areas where we couldn't totally block the sun out so we got to deal with some shade deal with some sun deal with some humidity and we ended up even having to deal with a couple quick showers on this so we had to deal with a little bit of rain that got on it um, so that made it quite challenging and it was a pretty good size area and we're not using our our stamps that we typically use we we were lucky enough to get Walt Tools Dawn there at Walt Tools to send us some stamps send us all the tools to work with the bull floats the mag floats uh, the color in the concrete everything that we use to do this concrete wise with tools and stuff Dawn at Walt Tools um, was really really nice to send us all this stuff down there so I'll have a link for Walt Tools down in the description, guys. Definitely check out his website if you need anything that has to do with concrete. You can see there's Luke. So Love Virgin Islands is Damien's business down there. So if you need anything done down in the Virgin Islands, the U.S. Virgin Islands, you know, make sure you contact Damien. He, he's the guy that can help you out down there. Um, but we, I mean, we pretty much poured it and screeded it and both loaded it the same as we normally would any, any project. Um, the, the concrete pour went really, really good. We had plenty of concrete. The mix felt really good. It was a 3,000 pound mix with pea stone. Um, but everything went really well as far as the pour went. It's just we had to start later in the day. We started at about 10, 10.30 a.m. instead of 7. We usually used to start in early in the morning when temperatures are already nice and cool. I mean, it was already like 85, 90 degrees when we started. And this is what the concrete looked like after we got it poured. So there was some pieces that were in the sun that ended up being a little tricky to deal with later on, especially like this one way over here on the left. Seeing where we started way over there on the right. All right, so we just got done pouring 10 yards. Took us about 35 minutes to get this dumped in here. 
had to go through quite a residential area to get it in here, so it made quite a mess. But now, this is it. This is it all poured. Got it tarped over to keep the sun off it, try to keep it all dry and the same. About noon time right now, so we probably got an hour before we even got to think about doing anything. We'll let this dry up, get on it, mag it, and we'll start stamping. Here's some of the tools that Don sent us from Walt Tools. I mean, the, the tools to pour it with, the stamps, they all worked really good. Those are Ashler Slate stamps. You can see Luke's getting on that part in the sun right now. Luckily, the part in the sun was right next to the doorway, so we didn't have to jump any part in the shade. Now, I'm back here. I'm mag floating it. Now, and we're dealing with quite a bit of water on the surface from those showers. I mean, it did hit the tarp, but then it ended up running in. And here we are stamping. It even started raining while we were stamping. Um, you can see some of it over there on the left got on some of the release powder, but it, it, it didn't end up doing any damage. It just, if anything, it just kind of prolonged the process a little bit more. But this was uh, after we got done stamping. You can see a little bit of rain got right there. That's the rain on the on the release agent. So it's a good thing the release agent was down. It kind of helped protect the concrete a little bit. And here we are cleaning it off after. You can see it looked really, really nice. All right, so here we are the next day. We got it all washed up and cleaned up. Now we're just letting it dry out and cure up so we can get the sealer on it. That won't be for a couple days. Still got the blue tarp up, so it's going to look a little bit blue in there. But we had that up because there was a chance of rain when we poured it. But let's go take a look. Got some saw cuts in there. Looks pretty good. Looks like there's a good texture. The joints got in there get pretty good. We use Walt tools, stamps, color, and release agent. That's it guys, about 900 square feet of stamped concrete we did here, all in one pour. It was about 85 degrees out when we did it, so she went fast, but looks good. We'll show you the finished product when we get all done. Now because of the weather, I ended up having to leave before the product got sealed, but this is what we used, Walt Tools Stamp Sheen 350, Damien ended up sealing it, and this is what the finished look was like. We used a, a gray integral color and then a charcoal release. And when you spray that sealer on, it really pops those colors to make it look just like this. So that this is what the finished product looked like. It was a really, really nice looking Ashler Slate patio. So customers were really happy. Uh, Damien was really happy. We're hoping to go back and do it again. This is Damien right here on the right. That's me on the left inside the patio area. And, you know, I just really wanted to thank Don at Walt Tools for supplying all the tools for this. That was great of him. And then we got to enjoy, you know, a few days on the beach, that which was really, really cool. You know, U.S. Virgin Islands is great. The views are absolutely amazing. So thanks again, guys, for watching. Come on back. We'll see you on the next one.